John Resch makes weird sounds all day long. It's his job, and he's been doing it for nearly 40 years. Uh, yeah, it's true. This uh, job is a lot of fun. He's worked on everything from E.T. to Interstellar. John is a Foley artist at Skywalker Sound, and this is his amazing sonic studio. This is from Braveheart. This is one of the swords that we utilized. It was a very large sword, which you'd use two hands on, so we want to make sure what we're doing had that same sound. So with this, I can, I can make it sound big. Detail is our business. We want to make sure that whatever we see on that screen, we are making the most honest representation thereof sonically. When I look at a scene, I hear the sounds in my head. So all I have to do is figure out, well, okay, that sound I hear in my head, how do I actually get that down on tape, if you will? The place may look like a hoarder's garage, but everything has a purpose. Even the building is important. It was constructed just for the demands of Foley. It has a floor that goes all the way down to earth for solid thuds and footsteps and a splash pool that holds hundreds of gallons of water. Just the thing to make aquatic sound effects. Now we're in the back room. This is where all props are stored. And there is a method to the madness, believe it or not. It's funny, you see this as, okay, a little kid's glove, right? Well, actually we used this in a video game recently for a footstep of a weird character. So what you see is not necessarily what you get. Again, that's the trick. Feather dusters, right? Just feather dusters? Well, not necessarily. Let's see. Quiet guys, thank you. It could be a bird. And this is all the way from Helsinki, Finland, from Heikki Kossi, the most famous Foley artist in Finland. It's called Lita, and well, I'll have her sing to you now. You ready? First and foremost, Foley is one of the most fun jobs there can be, and yet, of course, it's the most difficult. Good evening. There are more astronauts in the world than there are Foley artists. But who would have thought? Robot feet? This is one of my favorite props. In Back to the Future, Marty borrows a scooter, pulls part of it off and turns it into a skateboard. Uh, when I go to a movie, if, if the sound job is, is wonderful, I get lost in the film. In fact, that's what we all want. You know, we want to go and just have the popcorn to sit back and be taken away in whatever aspect we are. And that's, that's a wonderful thing. It's what I love about this business. 